What made that Alabama defense so effective today? What helped you hold them to 10 points? Uh, we just played Alabama football. Um, our goal is to hold the team to 13 points or less. And we did what we have to do. They had a big play on us. And we don't like giving up play, especially on a big run. So when we come back for this offseason, we made for this ball, um, for this ball, we got to just get better at our front runs. They didn't do much in the passing game against you. What helped you guys control that Virginia Tech passing game? We just communicate. That's the main thing. Communicate and execute that game. So you, were you guys throwing Thomas's timing off? Is that what contributed to him being inconsistent? Um, I, I really don't know. Like I said, we just, we just did our game plan. We, uh, the DBs did a great job of covering, and we kept them, we contained them, and the main thing, we stopped the run for the most part. So once you make a team one dimensional, kind of give a beat for us to, to play more pass coverage. Saw you on kick return and block and on CJ's, uh, on, I mean on Christian's uh, uh, return. What did you see and, and what kind of lift did that give the, the rest of the team? Well, luckily he broke because the guy that tackled my person, my man, so I, guess I felt I had to make up for it. And it made me feel fast because I was running with him, blocking, so it made me feel like I had some speed to go. So I told I told um, Cooper on the sideline, we coming for him where I was running. So, but I mean, that's what it's all about. Special teams, game changers, that's what we always say. We have two big players on special teams. 